Hi, this is Risky, and in this video, I'll show you how my warlock learned to summon an infernal in Classic WoW. So you can pick this quest up at level 50, which you can see me doing here um, in Orgrimmar. Um, buy a fell cloth and take yourself off um, to Felwood. You can see here, I learn when I get there that I don't actually have the flight pass, I have to go to Splinter Tree, post and run up. Anyway, I'm running up to Blood Venom Falls, and you've probably seen the little gnome guy there with his uh, ink pet, and they're the ones that you need to go and talk to. Um, he's also the one that gives you the sunken temple quest for being a warlock. See me here being silly. But I eventually picked the quest up. There we go. Got the quest and tells me where I need to go to loot all the parts of it. Um, now I didn't end up finishing this until I got to level 60 and you can see here so I've gone for the first bit which is the one in um, Felwood in Jade Nar in the Shadow Hold and um, I was doing the start of my Warlock Mount quest and I thought I'd get this part done as well. So anyway, um, you need to kill one of these Jade Nile Legionnaires. This is the first one that I encountered on my way down into the Shadow Hall. I'm not really paying attention. Obviously at level 60 I can pretty much survive stuff. I was probably drinking a coffee or something. There we go, there's the first Wars for Essence. The next one is in Ashara. And um, again, you can sort of see here I start off this fight with no holes, no mana. Um, killing these Lagashi Satyrs, which are kind of in the, the middle of Ashara there. You need to run into them. Um, with either yourself or a bot farming fell course. And so that was easy enough to get. It took about four or five. And this is the final one. So this is down in Blasted Lands right near the Dark Portal, which you can see in the background there. Um, I was streaming this at the time, so the um, screen's kind of cluttered. But um, yeah, I had to kill quite a few of these. Took me a while. But there we are. There's the final fell essence. So. Polish off this annoying little fell hound and take myself back to Fellwood to hand the quest in. So they're having their little RP here to run him around and chase him to hand it in. So now all I have to do is go and defeat the Infernal. Crocius, and so he's just a little bit um, further around from the Shattered Skull Vale. You've probably come across him if you've ever done any herbing in Fellwood. Um, there's a Mount Silver Sage that hangs out near him. And sometimes a Grom's Blood, I think, up there. Anyway, so it's easy enough. We come up here. I'm not terribly organised. I think, oh, maybe I'll summon my Void Walker in case I need to, you know, use the bubble to sacrifice him or something like that. And my plan is just to kind of fear and dot. So anyway, so we activate him, comes to life pretty quickly. And so this is kind of my first attempt. Luckily you'll see here I have a soul stone.
<laughs> this plan did not work. So quickly res, and you can see he stays activated. Um, I thought I would summon my Scarlet uh, Hound that I've been hanging on to since, you know, level 30 or whatever. That didn't work, but it aggroed him straight away. So I've aggroed him um, with my Succubus this time, and again, just, you know, banking on the old fear and dot. Had to banish that annoying um, fire alley. No. There we go. So I'm going to um, polish off the fire alley. And so obviously doing this at level 60, I think, is a lot easier. I think if I'd had my act together and tried to do this at level 50, um, he would have just resisted everything. Uh, it wouldn't have gone very well. I have no gear by the way, at level 60 I'm still wearing things like Dremel vest and uh, red match with pants. Anyway, so we hand it in, learn the infernal spell, and get a bit more RP, it's pretty cool. Kill the, um, the chicken, let's see here. <laughs> He hasn't learned Inferno, but I have. And, um, I'm off of Shoulder to do the next bit of my um, mount quest. I figure that's on the Inferno. And check him out. He's pretty cool. Thanks for watching.